This video is going to instruct you on how to identify a leak alarm and how to rectify the leak alarm. As you can see on the NISA's negative pressure device, our pump has detected that there is a leak alarm. I am going to mute the alarm and one of the first things I always check is ensure the canister tubing is connected to the port pad tubing. That is connected. I follow it back down to the dressing. I listen and feel for air leaks around the dressing. And why I do this, I take my finger and try to reseal the wound around the peri wound area to ensure the drape is still adhered. This has not rectified my problem and I hear an air leak right here at the base of the wound. If you can't audibly hear an air leak, you can also use your stethoscope to identify the air leak. And once the air leak is identified, you can take a piece of the drape that you use to cover the wound, undo number one on the drape, undo number two on the drape, and you can reseal the area where the leak is. Ensure on the drape that you remove the number three backing, then pull the tab. If I go over here and look at my pump, I'm gonna hit exit back out. It's the base menu. The leak alarm is no longer visible. The pump has rectified the situation.